Quickly before we get into this video, I'd like to give a shout out to Ahead for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to pick up cheap and reliable Rocket League items on one of the most trusted sites on the internet, make sure you actually check them out. First link in the description, you can buy and sell your Rocket League items and use code Zenica at checkout for 3% off your orders. Do you guys want to be in with the chance of winning this Trigon Mystery Decal on my car right now or £20 worth of V-Bucks to spend whatever you want on Fortnite? All you've got to do is subscribe to me and Leighton, link in the description, leave a like on the video and comment your details down below. That is it. The winner will be announced in the next channel update. And guys, this is an example why you definitely need to buy yourself some of those non-crate very rares. Look how much profit I've just got from that trade. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm bringing another Rocket League video and in today's video we are doing episode 3 of the brand new series going from nothing all the way up to the titanium white octane. So if you guys are unaware of what this series is, basically I'm going from one PCC crate and building myself all the way up to the titanium white octane. But if this is your first episode, make sure to click the link in the description. It will take you down to a playlist where you can pretty much watch every other episode so you can pretty much see where I've come from. And guys, if you do want to see more of this series, make sure to smash that like button right now. Let's try and get 300 likes and if we get to the 300 like mark, I'll bring out the next episode in just a couple of days time. And if you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you can keep up to date with every single brand new video I upload. And without further ado, let's get straight into this episode. I hope you guys enjoy. So the very first trade of this episode is basically me just getting myself a breakout type S. I know it's from the CC3 series, the guy wasn't trying to scam at all. But pretty much, I just got myself another import because the double drop weekend is coming out either tomorrow or on Saturday, which is absolutely incredible because the amount of the, the price of every single import is going up low. So pretty much, I'm just going to stack up on loads of different imports whenever I can. Whenever I've got crates that are hard sell and stuff like that, I'll buy and invest into imports. But pretty much, I just did a bad crate and a Yuzo here just because they're really hard to sell. In the next trade I'll get into, I find a guy that wants to buy my black wandermints. And I've seen him before, and he actually has some crimson wandermints and loads of different ads. So I was like, sure, I'll just see what you got. Because think about it logically, they're worth the exact same price. So all of the ads that I'm going to get from this trade is just going to be extra profit. So I'll get myself a certified crimson one. I'll get myself a crimson sunburst, which may be worth maybe a few PCCs. I'm not too sure. And then I get myself a triumph and I get myself a victory crate. So that's still an incredible deal. Even with the cert, that still is overpay, and obviously, they're worth the same price anyway, so that's some insane profit. And then after a little bit of searching, I find a guy that has a load of different non-crate very rares, and I can't complain. You know how much I make profit off of these non-crate very rares, so I offered him the breakout type pest that was from CC3, and I also offered him a triumph crate, him knowing as well that the breakout CC3, and I was just completely fine with doing that, because the triumph crate is probably worth around a nitro now, I would say, so not really that good anymore, and obviously getting myself two of these non-crate very rares is incredible, because the whole trade-up, it's worth a load, and you'll see later on what I actually get for a whole trade up. So, yeah, pretty good trade right there. I then invited the same guy straight back to trade to see if he had any more. And he said, Sure, I actually do have some more. And I put up two nitros because I know at the moment I'm not paying more than one nitro. Because the crates at the moment, nitros and PCCs have just gone out of proportion so much. Obviously, the double drop weekend has sort of changed it as well. But pretty much, I see people wanting five PCCs for their Taurus, which think about that uh, like five crates and getting himself a mystery decal every single time. Is insane. So basically, I'm keeping all of the good crates. I'm going to keep it as many nights as I can. But even so, getting myself some more non crate very rares is always good. I then managed to find myself another non crate very rare. Now, obviously, I'm going to offer for it. I haven't really got that much in my inventory at the time that's really worth it. So I put up the victory crate and I also put in, I don't even know what it's called, a Xeno Splash, I think it is. I'm not too sure. And basically, I got myself a feather, which is obviously just a non crate very rare. It doesn't really matter what it's called. Because they're not really worth anything at all. Think about it, like, none of the non-crate very rares are worth anything. So even getting myself one for just a victory crate and a Xeno Splash is still pretty good. Because it's at least a PCC out of it. And guys, here is the main trade where I make the most insane amount of profit I never even thought I would get. I invited a guy before, I said I'll do six non-crate very rares or a five and a grey Animus. And he said he invited me straight back to trade as soon as I cancelled it. He said, sure, I'll just do it with the Animus. And I really can't complain, because think about that. I'm getting myself a, a biomass, which is about 7, 8 PCCs, for a Torah, which is worth around 5. So, that's incredible profit right there. Getting myself a biomass. I think I'm probably going to use the biomass and other mystery decals to get some higher stuff. So, still, that's a very positive trade. I then realised next trade, thank God I didn't do 6 of those non-crate very rares. Because I found a guy that actually wanted one, and he put up a load of different stuff. I'm not sure if he was offering for a normal, I'm not too sure at all. So, I pretty much put it in, ticked up, and he actually did it. Because I thought that was from my post, he actually wanted a non-crate very rare. So, he invited me to a game. And then obviously put up the stuff. I put in a non-crate very rare. And that is the deal right there. So I got myself some pink chronos. They're probably one to two PCCs. And then all of the others probably add up to two to three. So think about that. That's probably a tour eventually when I sell it for crates. And then after listing the chronos up for a little bit of time. I managed to find a guy that had a hex. And he wanted a biomass and ads. So I was like sure I could do the biomass, the chronos and maybe some small ads. He's like okay sure. 
invited me to a game, I joined it, obviously got myself a hex out of this stuff I really don't care about because the biomass is still decent and obviously to a biomass a hex you don't really need to add that much and that's why I added these chronos because they're just so hard to sell. I remember in the last series for the either the Trigon or Dissolver I had some forest green and crimson chronos and they were impossible to sell so that's a decent trade right there. And then eventually I managed to sell the wonderments that I had from the start. I remember I paid a labyrinth for black and then pretty much got ads so I pretty much paid a biomass to get this wonderment which is incredible thinking about it. I can get over double for the Wonderment. And I pretty much did make over double profit. Because I did the Wonderment and the Biomass and got myself a Sweeper. Stormwatch has dropped a little bit in price. But I don't really care that much. And then obviously getting myself a Hellfire. Eventually that will be a Tora. And the four Triumph Crates as well. I can trade them onto people that want to buy them. So still that's an incredible deal there. And then after a little bit of searching on the look of the group. I find a guy that hasn't anodized and he wants one crate for it. And I really can't complain. Paying one crate for an anodized, that is incredible. Because people pay either imports or other crates. I'm not too sure. Maybe one or two PCCs I can get out of it. Because I use it on my car. A lot of different people use it from like the pro players to the RLCS and stuff like that. But it's pretty much one of the most popular paint finishes I've seen on Rocket League at the moment. So pretty much I'm getting myself this for paying maybe a half of a PCC crate. So that's a decent trade. So that's the final trade of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. We actually made a load of profits. Buying and selling those wonderments was the best idea I've made on this series. And obviously getting ourselves loads of BMDs as well is going to build up our inventory. I'm probably going to try and sell that storm up as soon as possible and get myself either two hex or a slipstream. I don't really mind. I'll probably aim for two hex to start with because it's obviously sweeper. And if I can't get it in the end, I'll eventually get myself a slipstream because I don't want to drop it anymore. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more of this series, make sure to smash that like button right now. 300 likes and I'll bring out a brand new episode in just a couple of days time. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications if you guys are new and I'll see you guys next time. Let you go.